Get him! Oh! Ugh, <gasps> oh, stupid iguanas. Making a midnight sandwich with milk. Look out, look out, look out, look out. Go, 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 Sarah, go. What? Just go, Sarah, go. Come on. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. <gasps> Mm-mm, 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 nope, mm-mm. Ha-ha-ha! <laughs> oh, whoa! Yuck, I don't want to see that. Oh my god, please crush him! Huh. Oh no. No, 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 god, oh my god. No, I gotta look, but I can't. But oh no! <sighs> Just blow him up. Oh. <laughs> Push the red button! Yeah! <laughs> Sarah! Push it! Push the button! Hide, duck. Hide or duck. Stop, drop, and roll. Push the button. <laughs> Push it! Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! <laughs> Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Tara and this is Tara Tunes In, my reaction channel where I watch your favorite movies for the first time. Today I am watching The Terminator. I don't know very much about this movie. It's been around my whole life, but I have never ever seen it. I just know that it's like an action movie starring Arnold Schwarzenegger. And honestly, I don't know if I've ever actually seen a movie starring him. Um, I might have, but I don't really remember. So the only thing I really know about him is that Whenever anyone I know does an impression of him, they either say, I'll be back, or get to the chopper. So if either of those lines are from this movie, I'll be super happy. On a side note, if you notice this awesome piece of artwork next to me with all these beautiful colors in it, I got this from my friends over at Movie Palette. This was made by taking every scene from a movie, finding the main color in each scene, and then combining them chronologically to make a beautiful piece of art. There's a really cool description on their website about how this works, and it just makes for a really beautiful representation of your favorite movie. They have thousands of movies to choose from, and they make really great gifts. They've also given me a discount code for 15% off for all of you to use to get your own piece of Movie Palette art. So the description will have all of that information for you guys if you're interested in a cool piece of art from Movie Palette. So thank you guys so much for joining me for The Terminator from 1984. If you're ready, I'm ready. Let's tune in. I honestly have no idea what this movie is about. It seems to me that I thought for a long time this movie was kind of about a guy that's like part robot, but I might be thinking of something like Robocop, which I've also never seen. So I don't, I could be completely way off. I have no idea. 2029. <laughs> the future when this was made was much more advanced than we actually ended up. We've got seven years to get to this. Ooh, man, okay, so I love that this started off so intense. There's just all this fighting and we are at war. The only other thing I have heard about this movie is that Linda Hamilton plays someone really cool. <laughs> I've just heard lots of people say that she's one of the cooler female characters, similar to that of like Ripley in Aliens, who I loved. So I'm excited to see what makes her so cool. This was written by James Cameron. I haven't seen a ton of any kind of films, but I know James Cameron's name. I know I've seen films of his and liked them. Uh, n not that I could really name any of them right now. <laughs> the Terminator. Even the music is just so intense. 1984. What the hell? Ah! some weird lightning. That's very concerning. I would not be getting out, I don't think. I would be calling the fire department. Hang on, there's a naked man. Oh, he looks so young. Uh oh He looks like he's up to something. Or he might be confused. Is this like when Thor came out of the like sand lightning storm and was just like, what world am I in? I need sustenance. Uh, but he was not naked. Hey. <laughs> Bill Paxton playing another punk just like in Aliens. Wash day tomorrow. Nothing clean. Nothing clean, right? This guy's a couple cans short of a six pack. Your clothes. <laughs> Give them to me. Now. You asshole. I think, yeah. <laughs> oh, he got him a little. Um. Possible for a human to do with enough force? I don't think so. I don't think a human could plunge their arm into another human. I, I hope that never happens if it is possible. So I'm thinking he's either not human or he's a very, very special human. Is this him again? Nope, different guy. 
two special humans who travel through Lightning Storm naked. Ew, what's wrong with his back? Did you just see a real bright light? <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, uh oh, he took his clothes. Oh, at least he didn't kill him by plunging his arm into his chest. Come on, cop. I think, I'm wondering if he was running particularly fast or if, like, can these guys also run really fast and they're super strong? What day is it? Thursday. What year? That's not a hard question. Oh, shoes, good idea. I thought like, ooh, what, did, what did he find that he wanted to stop and shop for? So now he has clothes from the department store, a gun, and he got away. So where did they come from? And why are they here? And why were they naked? What's with the lightning? So many questions. Sarah Connor. I have heard that name before. That must be this woman and the cool person I keep hearing about. Sarah Connor. So he's making this face. Makes me think he's up to something. Ow. <laughs> it just rips it apart. The 12 gauge auto loader. The 45 long slide with laser siding. That's a good gun. Just touch the trigger, the beam comes on, and you put the red dot where you want the bomb to go. Anything else? The Uzi 9mm. So, uh, which will it be? Oh. It's a 15 day wait on the end guns. Oh my god, is he gonna shoot him? Yeah. <laughs> Oh no, he's not a good guy. I thought he would be the good guy in this movie. I don't know why I thought that. Actually, you know what, the word Terminator, <laughs> like if he is the Terminator, that's probably not a good thing. <laughs> the dog, he's a yappy little bugger. Sarah Connor. Yes. <laughs> ah, oh my God, is he gonna kill her? He's just killing everyone. He's terminating. Sarah, come here. It's about you. I mean, sort of. Sit down. You can talk to Once again, Sarah Connor brutally shot to death in her home this afternoon. What do you got? Dead girl. Sarah Ann Connor, secretary, shot six times at less than 10 feet. Dead girl, too. Sent over from the valley division this afternoon. Another Sarah Connor. Sarah Louise Connor. The hair, though. They look great. Ginger, have you seen Pugsley? No, not lately. <laughs> <gasps> no, thank you. That is a uh uh. Nope, I would never have one of those as a pet. No, 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 no. They are not soft. Look, I'm really sorry. I'll, I'll make it okay. Call you today, okay? All right. Bye. Aww. So, what if he has a Porsche? He can't treat you like this. It's Friday night, for Christ's sake. <laughs> <laughs> I love her. What a good friend. Movie kiddo. Okay, you and I have a good time. We will. I'm nervous for her. If I were those cops, I would immediately go find all the Sarah Connors and protect them. Maybe that's what they're gonna do. Get going. This is a risky place to be. I don't know whether both of these lightning travelers are bad guys who are killing Sarah Connors or if the blonder one is actually trying to protect her. Did you reach the next girl yet? No, I keep getting an answer machine. I sent a unit. There's no answer at the door. Oh, ah, okay. They are doing that. Hi there. You're talking to a machine. But don't be shy. I can hear it now. Is you'll be called a goddamn phone book killer. Where are you going? I make a statement. 
Get on the tube by 11 o'clock. Maybe she'll call us. Oh yeah, good idea. But she's at the movies, so... Police have announced the name of the victim, second of two execution-style murders. Incredibly, the names of the two victims are virtually identical. Sarah Ann Connor was pronounced dead. Can we change Sarah this? Sarah Louise sure. Connor. Don't touch it! Gunman earlier today in her home. I would want to hear that, too. Yeah. Fire I'm glad that she's smart enough to pick up on the fact that she might be in danger as well. But does she know these guys? Or does she know what's going on? Or who they are? Or anything? Oh crap, she's next. Oh god, she's hyper aware now, but I think he might be trying to help her. I don't know. I just don't know. Hmm. Yeah, she needs to call her roommate because her roommate's in a lot of danger right now, too. Oh, she's calling 911. That's better. I don't want her to die, she's so funny. People wearing headphones don't usually make it in these kinds of movies. Uh-oh. Ah! Oh! <sighs> oh, stupid iguanas. Ew, 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 ew. Uh-oh. She's awesome though. I don't want her to die at all, but she's probably gonna die. She's making a midnight sandwich with milk. <laughs> That's terrifying. Look out, look out, look out, look out. I mean, she, there's nothing she can do. Hi there. You're talking to me. You almost shut the phone. <laughs> Oh, Ginger. I'm sorry, Ginger. R.I.P. Ginger. I'm at this place where Antigo Boulevard called Tech Squad. Well, crap. The police keep transferring me around. I'm gonna give them another try. Now he knows what she looks like. Oh, he might have already known. No, he didn't, because he killed a bunch of other Sarah Connors. I'm in this bar called Tech Squad. Yeah, I know it. It's on Pico. I don't want to leave. I think there's a guy following in a public place so you'll be safe till we get there. I don't know. I don't think she's that safe there. I'm not sure if he's above shooting someone in public. Oh, just missed her. Uh oh. That's gonna scare her out into the street where she's not safe, probably. Or they know each other. Sarah, 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 Sarah. <laughs> oh my god, no, he was just gonna kill her in there. People everywhere. Holy crap, she almost ate it. Mm, he just shot him a ton. He just shot him a ton and he just stood up. No, don't start shooting people. Oh my god. He really, 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 really wants to kill Sarah Connor. Oh my god, Sarah. Go, 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 Sarah. Oh my god. Oh my god. She, he's right there again. Come on. Okay, okay. He's maybe just gonna get up again, though. Come with me if you want to live. I've heard that before, but maybe that's said in a lot of different movies. Just. Go, Sarah, go! Yeah, I don't know if he can die. I just had a guess about what might be going on here, but I, I'm hesitant to say in case I'm wrong. My thought is it's a possibility that these two know each other and they're like mortal enemies. They both come from the future and the blonde guy's trying to protect this woman and he's trying to kill her so she is probably his mom and that guy doesn't want her to ever uh, give birth to him. Maybe? Or I'm way off. But that would make a lot of sense to me as to why they're uh, both trying to get to her. I got a hit and run felony suspect. He's like smoking. <laughs> Ouch. Shot. 
No, she's fine, but she's terrified. She doesn't know him. Don't move unless I say. Don't make a sound unless I say. Do you understand? At least if she's scared of him, she won't try to jump out. Because if she tries to get away, uh, that guy's gonna get her. I'm here to help you. I feel so bad for Sarah. You were targeted for termination. Targeted for termination. That's just awful. Why does one get targeted for termination? Approaching on. How did he do that? He can do voices? I didn't do anything. No, but you will. It's very important that you live. How could that man just get up after you did? He's not a man. Machine. Terminator. A machine. Like a robot? Not a robot. Yeah, like a robot. Cyborg. Cyborg. Crazy. Well, he looks real. Ah, I hope they have seatbelts on. The Terminator's an infiltration unit. Part man, part machine. Fully armored. Very tough. But outside, it's living human tissue, flesh, skin. What? Can it be killed? Does it need the blood and everything to live? Probably not. If you're interested in watching my full-length reactions, I invite you to head over to my Patreon page. There's lots of exclusive content over there, early access, I do a movie reaction journal over there, you can participate in polls, and even make special requests for reactions you want to see me do on my channel. So if you want to get more involved and help support the channel, then head over there and check it out. And if you want to just keep tuning in with me here on YouTube, then that is awesome, and I am happy to have you here. I am not stupid, you know. I cannot make things like that yet. Not for about 40 years. Are you saying it's from the future? One possible future. From your point of view, I don't know tech stuff. Then you're from the future too, is that right? I get that. She thinks he's a crazy murdering person. Kidnapper guy. That Terminator is out there. Can't be bargained with. It can't be reasoned with. And it absolutely will not stop. It's ever. just a kill machine. I mean, the timing checks out. That maybe. The reason she's supposed to be dead is because she's gonna make him and he's like, what they really don't want to happen. <laughs> They did a good job making him look, well he did a good job looking very kind of robotic, just like he's making this one face and he gets quick movements. It's weird. I like it. That's what I'd like to know for sure. There was a nuclear war a few years from now. This whole place, everything, it's gone. Just gone. Nobody even knew who started it. It was the machines, Sarah. Defense network computers. I hooked into everything. I trusted to run it all. Yeah, I feel like that could probably happen. That's the scary part. All of our tech is getting smarter and smarter. Did you see this one? I grew up after. In the ruins, starving, <laughs> hiding from HKs. HKs? Hunter killers. Most of us were rounded up, put in camps for orderly disposal, spread by laser scanner. Yikes. Some of us were kept alive to work, loading bodies. Disposal units ran night and day. We were that close to going out forever. Holy, he's been through some stuff. There was one man <sighs> taught us to fight. He brought us back from the brink. His name is Connor. John Connor, your son, oh. oh, oh, this is not her son. I thought maybe he was her son. Okay, this makes more sense. Oh crap, he found them. Head down. Ah, she is in the middle of an insane gunfight. Oh my God. Sarah, I don't know, like, I still feel like if this were happening to me, I might still just think that this is a, a crazy person who's abducted me and is telling some wild tale. But then how do you explain the murderous gunman robot man? Maybe that's what's convinced her. <laughs> that would make sense. Ah! Oh my God, what do you do? Can he be smashed or like crushed to death if his parts are all busted? I'll kill you. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. She can explain who she is and that he was trying to help her, right? Uh, is he gone? Is he gone? Is he gone? But he's probably coming back. 
Oh yeah, she's had a rough night. First she got stood up, and now this. <laughs> so much smoking in this police station. Are you sure it's them? Maybe I should look at the body, sir. Oh yeah, and her friend <laughs> died. <laughs> Poor Ginger. Sir, this is Dr. Silverberg. I want you to tell him everything that Reese told you. Ugh. So he's definitely been injured. Well, his human skin parts have been injured, but his inside robot body is probably fine. <gasps> oh, no, mm -mm, mm -mm. I don't want to see the, um, yuck. I don't want to see that. <laughs> oh, whoa. Mm -hmm. That's actually pretty awesome. This, uh, computer thinks it can win by uh, killing the mother of its enemy. Sort of Correct. retroactive abortion. Connor sent me to intercept and they blew the whole place. How are you supposed to get back? I can't. You can't? Oh no. It's very brave to go and do this. He obviously believes in the cause. Does he peel his eye off or something? Oh no. No, 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 God, oh my God. No, I gotta look, but I can't. I gotta look, but I oh no. <laughs> That's disgusting. I know that it's like a fake manufactured eye, but that, oh God, it's still gross. <laughs> he now has a face hole. It's actually easier to look at once you can see the machine because when he looks like a human poking his own eye out, no, oh, I don't like it. Oh yeah, just put some sunglasses on. You look fine. Why didn't you bring any weapons? You go naked. Something about the field generated by a living organism. Nothing dead will go. Most of the records were lost in the war. Skynet knew almost nothing about Connor's mother. They just knew the city. The Terminator was just being systematic. I have answered your question. Now I have to see Sarah Connor. He'll find her. That's what he does. That's all he does. That's terrifying for her to hear, but also they should probably listen to him. So Reese is crazy. He's alone. Oh, man. They're not gonna protect her properly. He is coming. There's a couch in this other room. Why don't you stretch out and try to get some sleep? You'll be perfectly safe. I mean, I know he means well and thinks she'll be perfectly safe, but I was gonna say they don't really know what they're up against, but they do. They were just told all about it. They just don't believe it. Oh boy, he's gonna get killed immediately. Oh, he avoided it completely. I thought he was gonna get murdered. He's lucky. Yeah, good to see you, please. Uh, Look, it may take a while. I wanna wait, there's a bench over there. I mean, they wouldn't just let anybody come and see her, would they? I'll be back. Ha <laughs> I'll be back, yay! <laughs> I'll be back. <laughs> He's back, all right. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. How are they going to protect her? They aren't. The only one who might be able to is the guy they just said was a loon. Oh no, so much carnage. Oh, cool. This is what he sees? Good idea. Oh no, not him. I like him. I like him. No! He's killing all the people I like. Is he gonna be okay? Oh, they're all just gonna die. I think that's the good guy. Get her. Sarah, Sarah, Sarah. Go, 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 get out. This is so crazy. Ah, they're always being shot at. He drove till they couldn't drive anymore. All right, let's get this off the road. Can he find her now? It's not like he can sense her. He just looked for people in the city with her name. So now she's in the woods in like a tunnel. He would have no way to know where she is. Oh my hmm. God. Uh oh. I can't remember. You mean you got shot? That's not bad. Take this off. Oh, this is gonna make me puke. Tell me about my son. It's about my height. 
It has your eyes. It does, John Connor. Well, that's nice. At least now I know what to name him. I don't suppose you know who the father is, so I won't tell him to get lost when I meet him. And John never said much about him. I know he dies before the war. Wait, I don't want to know. I wouldn't want to know that either. So, was it John that sent you here? I volunteered. It was a chance to meet the legend, Sarah Connor. Taught her son to fight. Cool. From when he was a kid. He learned everything from his mom? She's like, how is that possible? I don't know how to fight anyone. Come on, do I look like the mother of the future? <laughs> I mean, am I tough, organized? I can't even balance my checkbook. It's a lot of pressure to put on someone to say you will do all this. Your son gave me a message to give to you. Thank you, Sarah, for your courage through the dark years. I can't help you with what you must soon face except to say that the future is not set. You must be stronger than you imagine you can be. You must survive or I will never exist. Be stronger than you ever imagine you can be. I was dreaming about dogs. We use them to spot terminators. I love dreams about dogs. Where are they supposed to go now? She can't go home. They're probably safer not in the city. Oh. Oh my god, he looks disgusting. She's not going to her mom's cabin, is she? Well, that's good. The dog is not barking, so she can tell that he's not a bad guy. I am dying. We should check your bandage, too. I'm going out for supplies. Keep this. I can't tell you where I am, Mom. I was told not to say. Don't say. Be smart, Sarah. Okay. Okay, here's the name. No! Sarah! You can do voices. I forgot. It's not even her mom. Her mom has been killed, and it's him. Crap. <laughs> A lot of good all your supplies are gonna do. You're gonna have to leave very, very shortly. Make sure there's none on the threads. Screw that cap on. That's good. And six more like that, and we'll get started on the fuses. So maybe the only way to kill a Terminator is to, like, blow him all the way up so that his parts get ruined. <laughs> I'll never be overwhelming. Look at me, I'm shaking. Some legend, huh? You must be pretty disappointed. Aww. No, I'm not. The women in your time, what are they like? Good fighters. <laughs> it's not what I meant. Was there someone special? No. Never. I'm so sorry. So much pain. Pain can be controlled. You just disconnected. So you feel nothing? John Connor gave me a picture of you once. I didn't know why at the time. You were young, like you are now. I used to always wonder what you were thinking at that moment. I came across time for you, Sarah. I love you. I oh. Have. I don't know why I was not expecting a romance between these two. It seems unnatural almost. Huh. That's... What do you say to that? That's so... so strange. Oh. Alright. She's into it. So he got a picture of his mentor's mother from the past when she was young. Fell in love with the picture. Well, that whole dynamic has now changed. Which I guess is okay. I just wasn't expecting it. I'm not sure why I felt like it wasn't in the cards for them. Uh-oh, the dog. If she would have never told anyone where she was, he would not have been able to find her. <laughs> Get out. Okay, just drive away again and keep driving and then don't ever tell anyone where you are ever again. Whoa. He's always shooting them. Ah, uh, this would be a very hard shot to aim that properly. Can he do it? Can he do it? Can he do it? Can he do it? Blow him up. Oh, he missed. He missed entirely. You only have six. Ah. Oh my god, you only have six. Ah. Was that all of them? Do they have any more? I thought there might be one more. I didn't count. Yeah, get him. Good girl. Oh no, oh. <laughs> oh. I thought that went so well, and then it just. <laughs> oh, that could have gone better. Oh, God. Oh, my goodness. Okay, okay. Is he crushed yet? That was crazy. <laughs> Sarah, you should have gotten out of this truck by now and, like, run away. <gasps> 
get out. Ah! Oh, he's so shiny. <laughs> Insane. Oh my gosh, you gonna run them over? You can do it. Oh my god, that was really close. Oh my god. They're on a bridge. Just jump over. Run, Sarah, run, Sarah. Oh, he does have one left. <gasps> Sarah, you can't outrun this truck. Throw it at the truck, throw it at the... Oh, yeah, in the truck. She's too close. I duck, hide or duck, her hide or duck. Okay, she was pretty far. Oh, God, yeah, get out of there. Stop, drop, and roll. He's fine. Oh, he's gonna be super gross now. I can't even imagine seeing something like that. Is he not fine? Is he gonna melt? Are his parts gonna melt? I wonder. I just don't trust it. I think his eyes are gonna light up and he'll be fine. I mean, if they have flying spacecrafts, they probably have metal that doesn't melt. Where's your man? Oh, here he is. That's nice. We did it, Kyle. We got it. Ah, oh, I knew it. Oh my god. So all of the flesh is gone. And he's just a scary ass robot now. Wow, he looks awesome. He needs to be like crunched in a garbage crusher. Or if they could get on his back and reach in and like disconnect his circuits or something. I think that's too easy though. He's stronger than that door, maybe. Yeah. Some sort of factory? Will that like scramble his, all of his stuff? Kyle! Kyle! Oh no. Ugh, Sarah, you better go. On your feet, soldier! Oh, good for her. That's that toughness they wanted from her. Oh, he's way scarier without flesh. Imagine this thing was chasing you. Like, just imagine that. That would be so scary. But it is funny that all these little machines are confusing him. <laughs> is it a garbage crusher? <gasps> I hope he gets crushed, I hope he gets crushed. Oh my God, please crush him. If he gets crushed, his parts won't work. <laughs> Target acquired. So tense. Okay. Ah, oh, Kyle, you're nice and brave, but he's really, really strong. Oh my god, they still had another one? I definitely didn't count right. Yeah, stick it in his monster ribs. <laughs> Oh my god, no need to crush him. He's he's all blown up. Oh, oh, broken leg. Oh no. Yeah, that is bent all weird. Oh, not a broken leg, a pretty good gash. You can do it, be tough, just like he said. Kyle was awfully close to that explosion. Do we know if Kyle is okay? Does he have legs? He has no legs. So that's a little better. How can you stop him now? Oh, maybe now we can crush him. Yeah, Sarah, Sarah, go, go. Oh my God, be careful though. Don't you get crushed. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, get out, get out, get out. Push the red button. Mm. Push it. Push it. Yeah. Oh, so cool of her. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, he's not gonna come back from that. Bye. Lights out. Shishik.
keep that arm as a souvenir. Rough day. Tape 7, November 10. What's most difficult for me is trying to decide what to tell you and what not to. But I guess I have a while yet before you're old enough to... I was just thinking, is he now the father? If he was the father all along, how did he end up young in the future? That's confusing. Like, if you can travel just the once and you can't go back... I, I don't know. If you guys have seen the Back to the Future reaction, you know I don't do time travel very well. My brain cannot comprehend. Should I tell you about your father? Boy, that's a tough one. Will it affect your decision to send him here, knowing that he is your father? Wait, how? If you don't send Kyle, you can never be. God, a person could go crazy thinking about this. It's a paradox, right? If he doesn't send him, he doesn't exist to send him. I don't know. Maybe it'll help if you know that in the few hours that we had together, we loved a lifetime's worth. Oh, that's really nice. It's a shame to ask you for five American dollars for this picture. But if he doesn't, his father will beat him. Pretty good hassle, kid. Quattro. Si, si. <laughs> she still talked him down a little. Allá, viene una tormenta. What did he just say? He said there's a storm coming in. I know. Well, now she knows what's going to happen. She's going to prepare for the apocalypse. Wow, wow, wow. Wow, that was the Terminator. I had no idea what I was missing, and, and I could never have guessed this movie was what I was missing, to be honest. I had no idea what the story was about. That was a really cool story. I didn't know it had time travel in it. I didn't really, I wasn't sure if there were gonna be like robot cyborg things. I thought I might be mistaking it for Robocop. <laughs> for whatever reason. I didn't know that Arnold was gonna be a bad guy. I thought he was gonna be the hero of this movie, to be honest. I really had no idea what to expect on this movie, but I really, really enjoyed it. I really loved the characters. It was really actually neat how they kind of fell in love very, very briefly. I'm not sure why that I hadn't really considered, for whatever reason, that those two would get together. I thought they were just gonna, like gonna be friends. I don't know why. Um, but once they did, and I got the story of the fact that he's actually the father of John, and that they had this like very, very brief but heavy romance, like a, a very deep, deep kind of love, but just in like the short time that they knew each other was kind of just a really cool thing. I do not understand the paradox, or what I think might be a paradox, uh, of of time travel and how it works that Kyle, if he had not traveled back in time, if John had not sent him back to protect Sarah, then John would never exist. But he could not be sent back unless John existed. So I don't really get that. Maybe I'm missing something? You guys can explain it to me if you want to. Um, or maybe it will be explained in another Terminator movie. I know there's a Terminator 2 and I really really want to watch that one too. I'm pretty excited for that. I would love to see where this goes next because it looks like she's about to drive off and become the woman that is the legend that he told her all about. So I'm so excited to see Sarah Connor's story from here on and I think if she becomes that legend that's why people are always saying like Sarah Connor is the coolest. So I'm really excited to see Sarah Connor's journey. Uh, moving forward. So I will be watching Terminator 2 as well. Thanks so much for joining me for The Terminator. I had a really good time watching this one, and uh, I hope I see you guys next time. Bye. I don't want to change my password.